Welcome here on the show, Sports of the Don't Trust TV. I'm Adeni AG Shafe. We try, uh, time to take you around the world of sports. We'll give you some sports update as we start with Nigerian story. Well, Super, uh, rather, Super Eagles, they'll be going to the Nations Cup, the one they call AFCON. By January 13th, it'll be starting over there in Cote d'Ivoire. And right now, Nigerians are trying to see who, who will be that team. But uh, another Nigerian is already talking, saying, well, for Pizero's main list, is ready. Super Eagles 14 man list. We'll be looking at that story alongside Noel Samson. Good to have you know pleasure is my okay let's start with that first story 2023 afghan pizarro's main list is ready super egos 40 man list mayor formality according to emmanuel babayaro emmanuel babayaro if you remember him he plays for plateau united and other clubs and also was part of the atlanta olympic uh that 96 olympic gold team and right now he says the, the list is ready not that uh, uh, just uh, that 40 man list is just a mere formality as we all know that uh, according to him uh, already Pizero has his own list and he's just waiting for January to drop <laughs> the list. So that doing that 40 man list is just uh, uh, a <laughs> When I read about it, I was like, uh, it's, uh, it's not lying <clears throat> actually because it's not only in the football, it, it's, uh, it goes to other aspects of the economy. Probably you have recruitment where you just know, place recruitment, okay, come and come and apply for this job, but we know. The, those most, those ones that have gotten the job are there. So that is how it is. I, I know he knows those he wants to pick. But it shouldn't be as if okay, he just had picked these individuals to come and uh, play. Mm. That is why probably the list is out there. And you know, Mabayaro uh, uh, is his own, he's inside. He's an insider. He knows how he, how these uh, everything stuff. goes. So he's not surprised. I'm not surprised when he said that because well, well, I, all I know is that he should just pick people that I know that can play well for us. Mm. And I, 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 from what he also said, it's something that a home base player has not even included in the list. So, yeah, that, 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 that's in fact, I, I was, in fact, I was about to mention that. But really, this that, that list, if you see the 14-man list, maybe it's, it's only the goalkeeper they added. And you look at the entire squad, what has happened to our league? Does it mean we don't have any single player? I remember 10 years ago, 2013, Sunday Oba yes, was one that scored. Yes, the one that scored the goals. For the goal, rather, that made us to win that AFCON, the, the goal for the, in the final. And this time around, we don't seem to have faith at all in our local base or, or grassroots or uh, MPFL players. All through, you look at the entire list, except in the goalkeeping department that you see, uh, the two goalkeepers that name that, which, which we know, maybe they just pick one yes. to be a backup. And it might not even be part of the, it might not be part, it might not, it will not be the first team. Of course. But right now, uh, looking at this scenario of uh, not having faith in the home base, does it mean uh, uh, there is no player at all that could meet up the standard of Eagles? And if you look at the Eagles, uh, the performance has been... Uh, look, at, look at that list. From, from the goalkeeper. From the goalkeeper, you have uh, Ojoel only case with Eimba, Stanley Wabali in South Africa. Okay. Is he ship as United? Amaso Basoge and Christian Woke. Those are the three players. Ojolo Nleke, Amaso Basoge, and Christian Wu. Okay. And we're already. Why am I even angry? Why should Francis Uzoha be the team? Why <laughs> should he be the coach? Team? According to Bizero, he said he was always the best. Best? That's what Did he said. Did you see the, game, the match against... Uh, and to him, he said he's the best. That's why he's still... Come on. He seems... It seems as now, their second... They are second... Apart from... We have a Raya, we have Radha The third choice for Asna is a Nigeria boy. Hmm. Why not go and pick this? This guy, this guy keeps very well. And you the, 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 the funniest is that, if, let's go back to that list again. Uh, let's look at, look at that list. You look at defenders. These are all foreign, foreign bases. You look at midfielder, <laughs> no single <laughs> Nigerian <laughs> based. Attackers, all foreign based. Only goalkeepers, which you know that Adeba Adele is, is plays in Israel. Israel, yes. always in Cyprus. Uh, Stanley Wabali is in uh, South Ch Chippers United in South Africa. And from the way it's going, it is possible that Uzoho, Adele, and Wabali will get the note. Yes. Probably, that's... that's you understand? Yeah, probably, Except they just want to make it look like, okay, let's you like, look you, like no single uh, base. Hey, you move Wabali we'll and put on we, one we'll other drop, player. We drop maybe Adele and put Obasuge with uh, Wabali, or we drop, drop Wabali, Wabali put, and pick Adele, Uzoho, and... You know, uh, is, is it not... Talk about this a bit. It's really, it's really, it's, it's something that gets me. And I know I, was, I, I, the last time I was on the show, I said that probably um, if the super eagles, those from the foreign, uh, that play, uh, play uh, in uh, Europe or foreign leagues, are not performing well, why not bring those from the local league hmm. and try them? Because it's just as if you have this set of 
players. You see them in their, in their various things, playing, sweating. You can see them playing their life out. Ready to die ready for their to die for Although their clubs. That's where they get, got the bust chunk money you, from. Bust you, bust you. I was a podcast I watched when Mikel was saying he stopped. He, why he left Chelsea was because uh, Antonio Conte told him that if he leaves for the um, it seems like the um, Olympics, then if, he told him Moses that if he leaves for the Olympics, they will not. They will not. They, will, they, they are not make, And he said he told he told Moses, okay, you can stay because you are still young, but I've been in the team for like ten years. Let me let go. me go. And he went. And when he came back, he didn't. He, he was not. He, he got to understand he was not training with the team. He was training with the reserve. He got to understand he was training alone. Mm. Then when Chelsea stopped playing well, the coach called him that, okay, Alpha, come and join the team, but you want to play? He told him, no, I'm not interested in the game, I want to leave. Those to show how he was patriotic, but if some people will not want to know Chelsea and Nigeria, you can see he gets most of his money from Chelsea. So you can see the level of patriotism from um, um, Mikel. But these players, I don't know, they are not patriotic at all. I don't know, is it big manism or I don't even know the, what to call you see them, you hold, you, you see them having, uh, having the ball. Some of them complain about the pitch. Most of the players started from this pitch. Most of them started from the pitch. If, I, I, if, you can, I, I, if you cannot play, if you say you cannot, okay, even on the on the main pitch, there sometimes they do, they do not play. They do not even play good. If you cannot start on the, if you cannot play on the, the pitch you started from, there, you are not complaining that the pitch is not good. You don't you don't tell me that some of these players are not um, are not. I would like they don't have that um, that passion, the to hunger play, to play for us. If okay, if if, if Nigerian the home base player play from um, on the bad pitch. Imagine, and yeah, they play good. Imagine them being on a very good pitch. How would they, how would they, uh, would they perform? Now, now, now look, look at this scenario. Ronaldo, Messi, world class stars, number one, number for two, number one, 10, number one, number one, number two. 10 to 12 for years. Many, for good, like 12 years. They are still as hungry for Portugal and Argentina the way they started. Yes. You understand? Still, morning to money, Eagles can't stand them. Fame to fame, yes. Eagles can't stand them. Connection. I don't know the yes, yes, I want to mention. You should not even and go to, yes, that, not even go to that aspect. Go to the, um, um, the Brazilian National League and uh, National Team. You can see when they are naming them for the World Cup or the, um, maybe Copa America, you can see how happy they are hmm. playing for the National Team. For the fact that they are even invited. You, I, I, the World Cup they played, when they were announcing that, uh, they were showing some of the videos of Richardson, Richardson and some other players. You can see how they were jumping with their family. Like, wow, I can I make made it. They know how star thought that the team can be. That's why they're happy. There are some people in this Nigeria team. They don't. They, are, they must be there. Why? What is all doing there? What is he doing there? Is he the only Nigeria player you have? And the only keeper you have? They, they, they go, the ref, rather, sorry, the to, coach. The coach said he is the best. He should. He should tell us what is behind that. He should not tell us he's the best. Maybe he has a godfather at NFL. <laughs> is he the truth? Them? Because is he only? There are no. There are other players that. There are other keepers outside. If you check well, there are other keepers. In Europe, far, far better than, they are better than, than him. him. There are others in Nigeria that are better than him. Well, you can you committing blunder. You, 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 they play a corner kick, and you by yourself you carry the boy into the net, and you is the best. If mm. it's that how uh, how Raya or uh, uh, the likes of Ederson or Becker do keep, do you think they will be in, they will be they will be in, in Liverpool? Look at uh, how uh, Ederson and, Be um, and Becker for Boma City and Liverpool, very great, uh, very good player. They compete, they, they compete to be uh, at the national league for national team for, team for for Brazil. You are now bringing someone that he, if you want to, okay, nobody's above mistake. You commit. This is not something you do every day. Ah. Uh -uh. It's still common, it's right? It's still common. You do something like, okay, it's normal. We are so all humans. For, for you now, for you now, in that particular list, I know you are hammering on the goalkeeping department. It's the main problem. That's the main problem for, for me, you. For me, it's the main problem. Now, if you look at the defenders, the midfielders, the attackers, we know they say, according to uh, the news, that uh, the 27 man list is ready. But this list here, these defenders, let's take it, defenders, which player do you think shouldn't have made this squad? I think... Um, from this, um, they are all, they are all okay. They are, so to me, they are all okay. I think <laughs> they are all okay because if you check, they are all both. Uh, they are only their first team. Uh, they all play first team football. They are different leagues. Olai now down to Bright or Sai Sam. All of them, they all play very good in that team. So I think the coach should just look for. But, but but somebody actually mentioned that what happened that Balogo is no longer making our score because, because Balogo just won the uh, with the Scottish league. Because you know with, it's, uh, with Desa. I'm, I'm, Desa was invited, right? Oh. Probably look you, at his name there. Oh, probably the because, maybe because he's thirty-five. You know, he's thirty-five. People are, but you, uh, you need, you need that, you need that. How old? Ahmed, Ahmed was. Uh, what is he doing? For, what is he looking for? Wait, wait, wait. Let, let, okay. Let's what go, is he looking for? No, let's, 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 let's leave that. Let's not go there. Okay. Uh, looking at this, Wilfred Indede, Franco Yenka, Joe Aribo, 
Uh, you look at this particular meat feed. Why is he always so? We don't have much meat feed that's been invited. Why is he always like that? I don't know. Probably, you know, the, the coaches might have their own playing pattern. Maybe you know, it might not be a meat kind of a, uh, a meat feed uh, playing, uh, playing coach. Probably mm. that's what he wants. But you can see ah, you have attack as what's What is happening? You can't play more than four. You can't play. Uh, about. Uh, you, you want to play three, ten three, attackers. Three or four. At most, you have. Uh, you, okay. You know, the, the top now, you only have Boniface and um, Osime yeah. that will make there. One of them has to start. Okay. What about uh, uh, Hianacho, Chukweze? Uh, how many of them? Are, see, the issue Ademola is that. Luke, man. How many of them will start the matches? Then uh, maybe, anyway. And the most annoying thing that will annoy you see some of these players, some of the, uh, what the coach does that annoys me is that you see some of the players, some of these ones doing great in their team. You call, you bench them here. Then um, those that are fringe, those that fringe those, one. those that are they, they come they are, in, they, are coming, they come in twenty minutes to the game, ten minutes to the game. You start them. Then those that play full time, full time you what is the problem? Uh, well, a lot of people don't really have much faith in Pizarro as our coach. <laughs> so let's see what happens. The Afcon is getting nearer now. We have about seventeen days to go. And really, when it comes to that game called Afcon, the competition called Afcon is a very dicey one because right now Eagles are not even being rated at all. We saw Eyal Toure saying, "Well, he's not tipping Nigeria to win the Afcon," but Nigerian uh, stars are saying, "Well, they want to do it again. Let's see truly if they want to do it again." Well, we just look at that particular 14 man list. According to Bayaro, the 27 man list is ready. It's not. It's just a mere formality that they mention 40 players. Well, we wish Eagles uh, the best. At AFCON, hopefully they will come back with the trophy after 10 years. Now, still talking about the team that's uh, uh, to uh, AFCON, Super Eagles, let's look at this story. Equatorial Guinea, Guinea Bissau, will not be an easy pie, according to Wakali. Wakali is already warning Eagles that they should not. You know, attention will be on Cote d'Ivoire. They are in our group. They look at but they should not underrate Equatorial They should underrate them and see fire now. Mm. <laughs> they should underrate them. Look at what they did to us in, a, in, a, in, a, in our stadium here, mm. in Abuja. They won us 1-0. Equatorial Guinea, if I'm not mistaken. So they should underrate and see what happened to them. Football, you cannot underrate Guinea-Bissau. Guinea-Bissau, I mean, you cannot underrate anybody in football now. So it's giving them, it's, 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 it's like, they, they should know that. They are not coming there to come and sell granite or look at uh, how beautiful it is or to come and just partake. Everybody wants, to, everybody wants this, uh, the, the nation's cup. Hmm. So they shouldn't underrate. It's something they should know. But if they think they decide to underrate them, they are on their own. They are on their own. For Eagles, well, what Cal is already won is his teammate that try and <laughs> let's win this uh, if uh, it's been listed there. But right now, we move away. Let's uh, hope uh, Eagles will actually make us proud. And let's talk about another uh, player, but this time around a lady who has done well for herself, winning the CAF Player of the Year. She has really made a lot of record for herself right now. Six times she has won it, but now she wants to give back to society by saying, I want to create opportunities for younger generation. Asisat Oshuala. Yeah, she even has an I, I think she has an I like them, yes. year in Lagos, so it's, it's a very, she's still quite young. Uh, she's, she's up to 30. I'm not sure she's up to 30. Uh, of course, uh, 30. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Agbabola. <laughs> <so. laughs> <laughs> she came to her back to Nigeria. She, her academy, they play competition. At least uh, she was really welcome back for winning. That's the, the uh, I would call it the, African the, Ballon d'Or. Yeah, uh, she's yeah, holding yeah. the calf player of the year for women in her hand. And they really ap appreciate that. The Oshuala Invitational Tournament that took place. And really, she said, well, she wants to give back to uh, encourage a lot, a lot of younger talent uh, in women football. And really, Oshuala has been uh, a phenomenal inspiration to those young girls out there for the fact that winning African player of the year for six times is not a fluke. Mm -hmm. She really uh, got those uh, accolades. And right now, she's celebrating. And she wants to give more, uh, much more opportunities to those younger players out there. So if you are a player, a lady, Look up to Oshuala and get the best out of yourself to, uh, playing football. Away from there, let's go to the UFC. Let's talk about the UFC Ultimate Fight Championship. A, a particular fighter, his name is Israel Adesanya. Well, you know that name is from Nigeria, but right now you can call him a New Zealander. Adesanya could return to the octagon soon. He said he retired in October, but right now he's already talking that they could see him back. He actually mentioned 2027 before he would come back, but now he could be back soon, earlier than expected. Yeah, we actually missed uh, Israel because mm. since uh, he lost... Since the, the, all the swag. Yeah. The swag, the, it, seems, <laughs> it seems he's the one that is making... He, yeah, he's he bringing quite, some swag to UFC. He, yeah, actually, I know he has been really traveling around. He was uh, with Francis when he fought and mm. Fury. And the, um, when uh, in Saudi Arabia... Actually, Joshua. Joshua also too. So I think probably after... He, I, was, I actually wanted him to go on the rest because he, he fought 
like four fights or five fights within 18 months as a champion. So he, he, he actually did the rest. So I think so after seeing his, uh, his brothers, Francis and Joshua fighting, and so I, I'm sure he's been jijjad back to okay. Mm. He wants to fight. And I think he needed the rest because he, he, he won again. He won and he lost again. No, it's, he, so he needed to rest. I'm sure now he has... He has looked at some of the videos. He has seen his uh, mistakes and how to. Twenty twenty three really, affect, to some extent, for the UFC fighters with Nigeria origin, yes. uh, Kamaru Usman. Yeah, it, really, it was really, it, it it was was really bad for good. Kamaru. Mm, it was bad. He, the, he, 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 the first time he was knocked out. You know, the second one he won through split decision and all that. So it's really bad. So I wonder if Kamaru can, can go on a break also even for like, even for a year. Then then he comes back. But he said he started. Usually he started four. Now by the time he comes back, he said we should be up to. 37 or 38 now, so he should better just come and fight his fight before then and go and retire permanently. Well, they've made a lot of money from this. According to Adesanya, yeah, he could be returning soon. Or no, they can't be with a lot of uh, <laughs> body language that he'll be speaking. The UFC, boxers, wrestlers, all those guys, they know how to actually tweak the media. But right now, we move away from the UFC Ultimate Fight Championship. Let's uh, talk about another story. For Ronaldo, it's a big one for him because this year seems to be favoring him, scoring 53 goals. He's not he, an easy task for a player who is already 30. <laughs> Almost 40. <laughs> Almost 40. Ronaldo 53 goal of the year. Since Al Nasser win over Benzema's Ali Tihad, they won their game. It was a good one for them as they were able to at least thump uh, Ali Tihad at home. They won the way. Good one for Ronaldo. He scored two penalties. And also Sadio Mane getting a the brace there. Good one for Al Nasser. They won their game. Yeah, it's a very nice one. It seems the, com the, 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 the combination between... Um, uh, Mali and Mali is really fantastic, you know, mm. they've been really blended together. So it's a good one for Ronaldo. At, at 13, now you can see the passion from Ronaldo and also for, apart from the, the, his club, for the national team also too, same as uh, Lionel Messi also. So it's a very fantastic one. I'm proud. I wish our players can, the Nigerian players, can emulate these guys in terms mm. of um, patriotism and commitment to the national team. Seriously, for this player, he's not dropping at all. He's not resting on his own. So let's look at this particular graphic to look at the top four scorers, top scorers. This year, across the globe, you look at uh, Saudi Arabia and Pro League, Ronaldo 53 goals, Kylian Mbappe 52 goals. You look at uh, the man called Harry Kane in Bayern, uh, that's Bundesliga for Bayern, he has scored 52 goals. And uh, uh, well, Heli Haaland with 50 goals. Heli Haaland is the youngest here, 50 goals so far throughout the whole year, 2023. Ronaldo 53 goals. It's not surprising. It's uh, I know how many of our players have caught. That's Can you the imagine thing. that. Those guys are not. They are. They are not. As in, I don't know what the right. What the competition is. is very high now. You know why? The, the, the four of them are on fifty goals already. Yes. So they want to make sure who ends twenty twenty three yeah. as a higher goal scorer. I, actually, what's the, uh, that's that young man called Halad man score. I mean, trick. You don't know that guy is so fantastic. But all of them are actually opportunity to score more goals in Bappe, PSG, yes. Bayern, uh, uh, King, King, uh, Haaland, and Ronaldo, Saudi League. So you see that it's very, very dicey to see who is going to win the <laughs> Ayer Buscara to the end of the year. Today is 27. Yeah, but I think, I think Ronaldo is going, to, is going to end the year with that. Probably. Let's see how it goes anyway. Just so you have to have his, at least a snippet of that particular top scorers across the globe there. Big one for Ronaldo at that age. Still banging him more goals there. And before we go, let's look at the matches later for tonight in the Premier League. Let's look at those fixtures quickly as we have three matches coming up. Brentford against Wolves, Chelsea, Crystal Palace, Everton, Manchester City. Big match there between Everton The way and you Manchester. emphasize on Chelsea, why did you put that on Chelsea like that? <laughs> I know that I mentioned Chelsea, Crystal Palace. The Eagles as a call then. I hope the Eagles not come and press at the uh, Stamford Bridge. It's a London derby. <laughs> so, so anything is possible. Chelsea, you cannot predict Chelsea now. They might win today, lose tomorrow. Win today, lose tomorrow. So anything that happens, let it happen. Anything can happen. Yes. Maybe that's what you are meant to say. Not anything that will happen. Anything can happen. Anything can so happen. So you are afraid that. I'm afraid. I'm, I'm afraid though. For Everton, Man City, who do you see to win this game? Ah, Man City. I'm sorry. Everton already deducted their ten points. They're really as in. As they really surprise everyone. As if they injected them something. So, but Man City has always uh, they they want to get to themselves back. So uh, to me, the match to watch is between Everton, Man City. It's going Master to watch Everton, Master there, big one who wins that battle. If you blink, you are down between Everton and 
Manchester City at Goodenson Park. That's a big match tonight. But quickly, before we wrap it up, one more uh, transfer gossip. Let's look at this story that has to be Tottenham Hotspur. Tottenham Hotspur right now, they are ready to meet, see if they can get a player called Dominic Solanke. They are monitoring him with one month. The man actually scored yesterday, but really they are looking at getting Dominic Solanke. Yeah, he's, he has been, he played for Chelsea, then down to Liverpool before going to Panama. So it's a, he's, he's a very, he's a player who, who if given more chance, will be able to perform well. So he's a good for Tottenham, but Tottenham, you have um, you have some, you have Richardson, you have uh, um, Johnson, that uh, the, the player they bought from uh, what call it from Nottingham Forest. So, mm -hmm. where is he going to play there? So, that's my own. It shouldn't be good there and be a bench woman. Why not be there and play well to where you get it where you can be a top striker for them? Well, a big one there talking about Tottenham or sport monitoring Dominic Solanke. Well, that's where we drop the curtain on this show, our uh, sports update on Trust TV with uh, Noel Samson. Uh, even though you, I know I can see you shaking. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness, uh, Chelsea, don't worry, Chelsea will bounce back. They, they have the player, maybe something is wrong somewhere, I'm sure, right? I, I, yeah, something's wrong. No, somewhere. at least I'm supporting you. I'm wearing blue, also. yes, yes. Oh, yes. Chelsea, <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for coming on the show. We wrap it up there. I'm Adeni Ajishafe. Thanks for watching.